Okay, what the hell now with this? <laughs> okay, ahoy everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Helian tonight along with... Please, Martin, Lieutenant Dirkir, at your service. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's only supposed to happen if the cam... Uh, if the... <laughs> if the webcam gets turned, but apparently something caused it to anyways. Anyway... <clears throat> uh, yeah. Anyways, welcome back to... Probably the final stream of Dave the Diver. We said that last time, and then, well, we had it. We landed in a weekend with a lot of stuff. But yeah, the, um, unless the game really starts to troll us, this is going to be like, is go likely going to be the last one for a while. <clears throat> Since, uh, yeah, the, the Misty Nights for the Dredge content are rather rare. You can f see if they're coming ahead of time with the uh, weather app. But beyond that, you'll just have to spend a lot of days, well, running the restaurant and doing normal dives. Which, over time, yeah. as fun as this game is, if you have to wait like two weeks between each dredge night, it would get annoying. So, yeah, it, it, it's better content for the start of the game. Or to begin with at yeah. the start of the game. Uh, as well. <clears throat> Hopefully they will add more DLCs. So when we do return, once they have added like maybe one or two more DLCs, then the dress content will be a great addition to them. Yeah. Let's see. Some steel net traps. Let's grab those. Tank expansion. May as well. Okay. Uh, we've already done one dive. We don't need to get any more. Oh, okay. N nice little detail that I just noticed over the over the restaurant that notifies oh. if the merchant is in or not. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Seriously, how the heck? I I do believe there are some uh, conditions that people can have. Oh, secret recipe where they will feel cold no matter what. And I'm guessing he might, well, be a case of that. Grilled Antarctic octopus and truffle. Are, are, is everything you're going to sell us involve truffle? Assorted grilled and Antarctic octopus arms, grilled paddleweed and truffles. It's the flavors of the ocean and land in harmony. Okay. Might as well buy these out since you're our only source for that. And... Hmm. Okay, one minor thing that the game doesn't show how many of these we have, but well, since we have <laughs> literally that much, we might as well just buy them out. Okay. And while we're here, <laughs> feed the kitty. <laughs> yeah, I am pretty sure that this isn't going to lead to anything anymore, but we may as well. Okay, now we have a busy weekend in the game here. We have the, the lobster party tonight. We have a fishmon, and tomorrow we have mist, which means that it's going to be a dredge night. Yeah, here. Thick fog, thick fog, mist. Close enough for me. <laughs> so, yeah, that, that does mean that we need to get the fishmon tonight. Not tomorrow, since... Uh, I asked around a bit on that on the official Discord, and yeah, apparently if we try to grab the Fishmon on Sunday night, that it's going to automatically fail somehow, because it's too late or something. Um, either way, I I don't want to... It's just an extra thing, it's not really too important, since we really only get a small amount of money for it, in comparison to how much we, we make each day. But still, I'd rather not have to wait another week for another opportunity to get this stupid thing. Yeah, it's up to hmm. you, but Steve, I feel like that damn report is trying to sabotage us. <laughs> yeah, maybe he just doesn't like lobster. He <laughs> doesn't want to get sent out to uh, sample it or something. Okay, beyond that, we still have this final stupid thing. And I still don't know what this thing actually does. I think it is just going... It, I think it is in part just a joke. 
maybe it will increase our switch, our carry capacity a little bit but beyond that i don't know don't really care too much either or actually there's one thing i can think of that it could do uh, if we run out of oxygen and quote unquote die we can only bring back one item maybe that allows us to bring back another i was just to say that, that maybe it, it inc is like under a full backpack you can add, put stuff into like uh, the you know the box you can put in like 10 kills into yeah it could be like those so if you were to quote unquote drown in the water you will be able to save much more than just the one or two you might be able to save a certain amount in kilos maybe yeah uh... <clears throat> for now though I say we actually go look around in the glacial zone here. Maybe we go look around for that uh, stupid artifact again. Found it. We can definitely try and take out some Donkulosteus. Did I say that correctly this time? Donkulosteus, yes. Close enough, yeah, in yeah, <laughs> any case. Yeah, at least that's what I'm used to hearing. Okay. Yeah, maybe we can look around in the other places for where oh, they might nice. hit. <laughs> yep, we need that for upgrades. And I've also learned that apparently some seahorses spawn only... Uh, or Beagle? Some seahorses only spawn from certain things. Like, there is supposed to be a ruby sea dragon or seahorse that, spawn, uh, that has a rather tiny chance of spawning when you mine or when you completely mine out a ruby vein. Hmm. That's very good idea to keep eye on those. Yeah. Plus the resources we can sell or use in crafting. Not needed. Uh, let me triple check. Sword Bannerine life. Okay, yeah, not the bear, glacial zone, golden king crab, pollock, telescope fish. So yeah, we need to keep an eye out for orange slash brown fish and these ones. Snub nose spiny and lumpfish. Because we still need reading pairs of those. Okay. Oh, hel hello. Okay, this one just came out of this uh, vein after we mined it. Leafy Sea Dragon. Okay, I, I guess that's another reason to go for the uh, <clears throat> the mineral veins. Because they have a chance of uh, spitting out a seahorse for you. Yeah. <clears throat> now, is there any more that we can find around here? Is that one of the ones we want? That we don't actually have a weapon to catch its life even if we wanted to. Oop, crab over there. Yeah, the the no annoying thing here is that freaking Alaskan Pollock looks a lot like... Uh, n n a lot more common fish here. Let me, let me just freaking try. <laughs> Bonk. Yeah, the, the eel pout. These things are just every bloody wear. Oh dear. Hmm. And there, yeah, there is this crab here, but we didn't bring the net since we're out hunting for the donkles and such. So at best we can probably <laughs> get just the, its body. Donkle. <laughs> but I. I guess that probably is a shorter version of what I mean, you could call him Uncle Dongle. Hmm. Okay, it shrugged but off a bullet. God. Okay, it, so we need to deal things with funny these. funny about it, just call them Dongles. Thunk. Okay. Some more mayo. And actually, how many... 
Do we have any over here in this depth? Let's see, blue lobster, California spiny, almost said spicy again, tropical rock lobster. Are there any, un okay, there are two unknown ones. Uh, I can't check the cards. <clears throat> Let's see if we can get any new fish from here. I know we've gotten two types of crabs, or crabs uh, slash lobsters, in the geo at the geothermal vent. But I'm not sure about this area, if we've caught, uh, caught many down here. We might as well grab a few more for bait. I'm here. Be careful now, Hillian. The fish is cornered. You were you were going for a joke with about cornered rats bites the cats. Oh no, cornered animals! I, I forgot what they were saying about cornered rats. Yeah, the the saying is that a cornered rat bites the cats. First time I heard of that. <laughs> Okay, I thought it was a pretty common saying. I'm more of a... I'm more used to saying a cornered animal is more dangerous. Yeah, which they are, but the other one is easier to remember for kids. Poor crabs, okay. Uh, yeah, sorry. That one uh, you'll be saying is very unknown to me. But I always heard the other reference in kids shows and all that. that a cooler animal is more dangerous. No. So be, be you be you have a, what you say is maybe a Dutch uh, reference or something? Mm, maybe. But even the translated version works, I'd say. There. Yeah. And I forgot to use this thing, so might as well. No. Put down a trap here. And I, from what I've also found, the rank is the only thing that actually has an effect on how much and how good a catch you get out of the traps. Beyond that, weight, amount of, uh, amount of meat, and the star ranking are not do not have an effect on that. Are those okay. eel pouts or telescope? I think those are eel pouts. Yep. Okay, I seriously need to look up what the difference is between those two. Glacial eel pouts, fin that goes all the way around, basically. And then... Yeah, those two are easy going, going to be easy to recognize. Okay, I, I'll have to look at the fin. If the fin goes all around, then it's an eel pout. If it's only at the back, then it's supposed to be, well, the one we're looking for. It helps if you look... Actually... Okay, I see the faces here might be too hard to do. Yeah, and on my end, I, the, the screen is, but yeah, the gameplay window isn't full screen. So that gives me a bit of a zoomed out view. There we go. Okay, three horse hairs. Or no, two horse hairs and a snow crab, I think that was. Either way, we got them, and we have one more use. <clears throat> Okay. Hmm. Let me check again. Still two unknowns. Let's see, we have ones from the okay. hydrothermal, so let's glacial. Let's the bottom. But there are two unknowns. <laughs> oh, the, okay. The, no, I, I missed that. So, <clears throat> yeah, 50 to 130. <laughs> So we won't find any of those here. Oh, all right. So, so I want to say that that one almost looked pretty story, but if it ain't found here, it... okay. Now I wonder what kind of it looks like that. 
<laughs> this was just a masochistic fish getting stabbed in the eyes like three times and it still comes back. Okay. <clears throat> uh, also, something else I learned is that um, it isn't so much that the areas of that we swim through are randomly generated each time. It's more like for the at, le at least for the, the lower depths. Hello. Uh, there is. <clears throat> There is generally... Uh, too close. Uh, there are certain configurations that the game has set up for the areas, which get loaded in randomly. That also affects okay. where things like those spawn. Like, one thing I saw about those ruby, you know, seahorses or sea dragons was if, a, if an ammo box spawns at the start of the glacial zone on either the left or right, then that's supposed to mean that there will be hmm, a ruby vein on the opposite side or something. And uh, let's put in... Let's put in you. You're rank 9, which I do believe is the highest rank. <clears throat> I'll use that. Now, whilst that crab trap is doing its work, let's see if there's something to hunt for us here. Oh, yep. Eee, donka, donka, donka. Okay, I think he heard us. Uh, yep, he didn't hurt us, they heard us. I don't think they like the joke. Got it in the tail. I almost looked like he ate the other one there. Okay, need to charge. Yep, thank you. Let's get you out of the way. If... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Definitely would look like it swallowed the smaller one there. Uh, too low. Or... There. Now, can we get lucky and get an instant kill on you as well? Almost dived into its teeth there. Was, was that a critical hit? <laughs> okay, that time I did dive into its teeth. Okay, use that quickly. There we go. Just nick the end of its tail. Now, call this in. And with some luck, we'll be able to get a breeding pair of those. Hmm. So I, I think if there's any fish that's likely to be able to hit 370 tastes, it's probably going to be those. For certain. You're not gonna, not gonna grab that one? I want to check if there's another... Actually, I don't think... I think only one Donko last year's spawns each time, so might as well grab this one as well, yeah. Uh, oh, then I think you're all correct that there might be another one. We'll have to see. It's not like I've kept track of how many they're, <laughs> they've been chasing me each time. But the it does sound like done. a nightmare situation to be chased by two. <laughs> and I'm just picturing them you know, accidentally locking jaws with each other and getting stuck. Not impossible, considering they were cannibals. <laughs> And the reason okay. they have those jaws is for the eat other armor fish, including each other. Yeah, of course. <laughs> now, let's see if there is another one then. I don't think so. I think the big the the big sharks and such typically only spawn one at a time. Let's hope so. Can we get the Yep, yep, Sheila camps. Okay, can we get this stupid thing this time? Unfocused. Okay. There we go. Wow, isn't that the coelacanth? What, uh, what they call a living fossil? 
I can't believe it still exists in its, in its, in its ancient form like this. We do really like this. Okay, now we got that one finally. So we should have caught, literally or figuratively, every type of fish in the at the geo at the geothermal vents. Frozen cod, really? I, some of the choice of weapons are kind of hmm. really. Actually, we haven't upgraded the piss, the dart yet, so th yeah, that's what that, those were wasted shots. Oh well. I, so I guess, like, for everyone who have, who have had hope, yeah, for anyone who have held a frozen fish, probably can agree with me that that, that probably would hurt a lot. Yeah. Uh, both physically <laughs> and mentally. Oh well, at least that makes this easy. I was trying to dismantle the the sniper rifle, but oh well. So it does make you question a bit of who the hell was sending all of these weapons on that supply ship that was sunk at the very start of the game. Yeah. Might it be I, I our be local surprised. weaponsmith? Maybe. I would not be surprised if some of the weapons were coming from, from uh, several sources to aid, uh, you know, the poachers. Yeah, the pirate. yeah. That's, that's a good point, yeah. They, they could have been uh, <clears throat> importing those weapons. Most likely did. And then, of course, uh, Try to put the blame on uh, Dave and others. Okay, you gotta watch out for those little bastards up there. Okay, I'm going to check out some of the side passages to check if that Jade's pedestal thing is in there, maybe. High quality for cat food. But after that, we'll head back, do a night dive, and, well, tomorrow we'll see what our goal then is. But at the least we know it's going to be a dreadful night. Or a dreadful night. Yeah. Not the heck, Udo. I don't know if, if, if those events and the uh, fish balls are supposed to be random, but... Yeah, they are random. Oh. Yeah, it... I hope to fix so that that would not be happen. See, that you have to choose maybe. between the uh, special day and a fish one day, or at least not too often. Yeah, says so it, it both are rare. It's annoying to choose, especially if you're a situation like, like I don't know. Yeah. I guess they are important to do if you want to be a completionist. Mm. Donk. Mm. Gotta keep an eye out for those. There wasn't. There was a lower pot we could have taken earlier. And yeah, we, we found two of those jade orbs now. Okay, I'm, I'm going to guess the lower path would have led us here as well. Oh, hello. Yoink. Yeah, it, it seems they jump out of, or quote unquote jump, out of seaweed sometimes as well as you gather it. It's a nice little tune as well for this. I don't think I commented on that before. Yeah, it's very really nice. I think we heard it too shortly last time we were here, since we were very quickly into a cutscene and an Amini game. Yeah, <laughs> angry turtles. <laughs> okay, I'm going. I'm going to guess that this is the only place where we can uh, really uh, collect that uh, or collect those seaweeds, other than the the seaweed farm. Uh, here we are. There's an old mm -hmm. flash game that was about to hurl a turtle a long distance. Okay, <laughs> I didn't know that. I've got this name, but I'm pretty sure Captain Sauce 
Paragon games and others have played it. I might have to look around for that then. Actually, I probably should look up uh, through a lot of uh, Captain Sauce's old videos, because I'm pretty sure I haven't seen... Uh, I've only seen, like, his more recent stuff. Uh, I, I think he's gone on a bit of a hiatus again, or at least he slowed down with production, or maybe I'm just getting unlucky with uh, <clears throat> which videos of his are actually appearing in my, sub uh, uh, in my subscriptions page. Yeah, let's uh, I'm uh, hiatus again. Okay. I checked the other day. Low path this I, time. I only guess it's probably to do with the eye operation they had. Probably. And yeah, it just leads back here. Nothing out new there. Yeah, the people did say that we have to see you be back again. Just don't screen your uh, eyes. And yeah. He, he almost feel like he has been having a lot of rough. A bit, yeah. Okay, so we know that nothing is on the lower path. Maybe new stuff might spawn in there every now and then. Hello. Easy. Okay. Then we can go check on the other side. Hmm, pardon. Okay, those are eel pouch because you can see the pin around it. Hmm. But yeah, we'll have to see what else the developers will add on to the game. Whenever, well, it gets added next. For now, we can continue to explore around a bit, see if we can finally find that freaking pedestal thing and complete the eco-watcher thing. And yes, I'm just going to speed up through this because we have plenty of oxygen and if we run low, we can go back to the village to refill. Let's see, below this is just going to be the, the geothermal vents. Let's see. And this is where we killed the cream crab. And there should be an opening somewhere to our left here, if we go up a bit. Huh. Okay. Topaz. That's an eel pout. Yeah, I really hope they add more DLCs that add more story. Okay. Up and over. And then we get into, well, what we haven't been to yet today. Let's see. Down there is where the baby uh, beluga got stuck. I think we've checked here a few times, but there hasn't been anything added. Maybe we haven't actually checked the entire back of this place. So let's take a look there. Just in case... Nope, nothing to the looks of it. Hmm. Yeah, a complete dead end. Okay. Uh, Good thing to finally check that out completely, even if there is nothing to find here. Hmm. Okay. Um, I think there is there should be one more passage, I think, on this side. If not, well, we can head out after that. It's going to be a bit light on catches this time, but oh well. Eel pout. Gotta wait out. The effect there. Okay, no seahorse. Okay. Okay, and I will. Yeah, this is where we would have needed the. Yeah, this is where we needed the baby narwhal to get through, or the adult narwhal. I forget which of them it was. Uh, hello there. 
yeah, they really are just small, a bit too small for me to accurately see. But I think, I, yeah, that's it. I think it's an eel pout. Oh well. Yep. Hmm. Uh. Let's see. Is there uh. anywhere else around here then? I'm kind of happy about we having doing very well economically in the game. Yeah, so but on the, we the yeah, one. we yeah, we so we won't uh, go bankrupt or anything anytime soon. But on the gameplay side, we are running a bit dry on things to actually do. See if you don't know if it's about Udo, what they have to do the eel fishing on the same day as the lobster party. But I think they can't afford to do it. Yeah. However, we will hold it against him. <laughs> yoink and yoink. Hmm. Okay, you are really freaking eager for <laughs> Dave's ass. <laughs> then again, he does look like a full course meal for a shark. M multiple sharks. Hey. Okay. Let's check around here. More topaz, we need that. Hmm. Yep. Actually, okay. we are running a bit low on oxygen. Let's just take a let's just take shelter in here for a moment. Thank you. I'm pretty sure I've looked through this place already. Hmm. Uh, somehow we'll not be surprised if it's, it's either here. We are somehow missed it. Maybe. Is this go? There's another jade orb, another pedestal. Mm. Oh, jade marble, also good enough. Hmm. Nah. Okay, I don't think the sides really should have hurt, but oh well. Uh, oh, right, this, yeah, the giant pachinko machine. Actually, have we ever actually done much with this thing? I think we operated it in a quest, but... Hmm. We can't activate it again, I think. Whereas something would have shown up when we ran by the button. Hmm. Actually, with any luck... Let's see, Greenland shark, lumpfish. Uh, Pollock. That's you, isn't it? Yep, it is. Okay, so this is where these blasted things have been hiding And Hello. Gee, that's a huge sow bug or whatever. It must be the species called Bathynomius. It's camera of the deep sea. It looks bigger than I thought. This is a rare encounter. Let me take a picture of it. Okay, I, I honestly didn't expect the game to really <laughs> think about us returning to here anymore. Uh, let's see, get a picture of all three. Okay. And yeah, they're, <laughs> they're eating a, <laughs> a Greenland shark. A, and one goes really... out of the mouth. Uh. Yeah. Does that count? There we go. I just remember that is a underwater parasite that does something horrible to fishes. Yeah, it, re it replaces their tongue. Uh, yeah. That's what the one I was thinking about. Yeah. Those it's are not eel this pouts. one, luckily enough. And. I will tell you this in that uh, those we use food to food us off. They are edible. 
Okay, I'd rather not, but that's just me. Oh, is that one of those telescope fish? I think it is. We have one more shot. So, oh, yeah. Take a good look at that, to, you little bastards. If you need to blow my nose, BRB, okay. but I don't want to do it near the mic. Okay. Oh, it's not the people he sneeze at times. Yeah, you, you, could, uh, sil you could silence yourself for a sec for that if need be. There's a specific uh, button for that on back. Discord after all. <clears throat> okay, so this is where these stupid fish have been hiding the entire time. I, I, I honestly thought that the game wouldn't really think too much about these side areas and would just stick normal fish that you'd find in the central area in them. But, yeah, I've been proven wrong on that. Learn something new, huh? Hmm. Any chance of a jade pedestal? Oh, there you go. Hmm. Let's see. What have we here? What is this? A, a pillow? <laughs> um. Wait. What? Okay, I'd heard of this. Mjolnir. <laughs> this spelled in a Swedish way. Mjolnir. The legendary hammer frozen in the glaciers. Throw it at the target to inflict lightning damage. Please tell me we get to keep it. I don't think so, but uh, I had actually read about this thing as well. It's supposed to be really, really rare to find it. So. <laughs> <laughs> if fitting that we find it in the very last of well, very last for now is dream. Come, I, 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 I'm a whole expecting it to be the Yid statuette that was the, there, not the, not the Mjolnir. <laughs> okay, maybe we can <laughs> keep it, but we'll have to see. Like we, everything else that has come out of the water has dissolved or been destroyed, whatever, they don't actually say what happens to it beyond that it just stops, <laughs> it just doesn't come out of the water. But... <laughs> that's just this funny to find that randomly. Yeah, and this is a special weapon, do remember that. <laughs> actually, can we bully the crap with that? No. Crab says fuck you to your mythology. Okay. <laughs> I heard there was supposed to be an achievement uh, uh, with uh, Mjolnir as well, but uh, nothing popped up. Neither on the game itself, nor in the corner of the monitor. So that's Did? a bit of an oddity. Uh, let me check once more, because I have the memory of a goldfish, even though they aren't that dumb. Yeah, lumpfish. Uh, oh, third gl Hello, it has... Third glacial... Okay, so they, they can spawn in specific of the caves as well. Like glacial area, glacial area, first glacial cave. And that was the one we were just in. Glacial first... Yeah, I, I, I really should have checked these out more act more precisely than just glacial z glacier zone. I I would probably notice it if it was before you how quickly you slide through these. Well, back down to the third cave then it is. Also, seriously, we are already 40 minutes in. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, there we go, God of Lightning. Catch a fish with me on there. <laughs> Get fucked, you freaking chaplain bitches. 
<laughs> okay. Oh, good gods. Let's do it again. Yep. <laughs> okay, some of them were smart enough to retreat. Okay. God of lightning, very, very frightening. Fries, fish fillet. <laughs> Uh, in the glacial zone. Actually, how good are you against that one? Yeah. Yep, wrong way. It <laughs> still looks so freaking derpy. But I also supposed to be very, very slow. Yep, wrong way again. Yep. Uh, if you remember right, they have found one that had eaten then a uh, dead moon. Bonk Again, the nose. The moose was slightly dead. I just, well, landed in front of it, so I just ate it. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's not going to work. It's too big for that. The thing with, with these old people is they can get very old, like over 400 and all that, but also really slow. Yeah. They're sort of the elephants of the ocean if you don't ca if you leave out uh, whales and such. Maybe rhinos what? of the ocean, though they have the opposite disposition. Kill rhinos and elephants are not that slow. If anything, they are more the sloths. Okay. Actually, it's the there. ocean, really. <laughs> when you typically think elephant, you don't think speedy. Um, well, they're not, they're not yes. like heat at past, but do remember, they were used for cavalry and transport and other things in the past. Hmm. So they are not slow. Actually, and let's be honest, you kind of don't mean. want to get caught by an elephant charge. True. Because that is a few tons of just bone and muscle on top of your ass. Yeah. Up there's a mirror. An accident interrupted you. What would you to say? Yeah, I just said let's go find a mirror so we can exit. Y you look fine, Captain. <laughs> okay, then tomorrow we can go to the third glacial cave. All right, see you all tomorrow. Keep all of those for the moment. Okay. <laughs> Udo. Yep, picture. A seal of Kent. A living fossil that barely changed from the Paleozoic era. But knowing the Paleozoic era actually saw it in person, so how can we be sure it's the same? Maybe this is what you call an inconvenient truth? This picture is going to make waves. It's a picture to good use, I'm sure the readers will love it. Yeah. And it, yuck, it's gross. A sow bug. I remember often seeing it in my backyard. Did you take this picture at my place? Since when do you... Are you suggesting you have dead Greenland sharks in your backyard? Oh, it's in the water. Uh, I see it now. Yeah. Uh, yes. It's, go ahead. I need to plug in the cable. Okay. To my headphones. I should have done it earlier, but I thought... Ah, maybe I'm going paranoid. I maybe I have enough power. <laughs> no. Yes, it's uh, Bessie Nomus. Um, I'm sure of it. Mm. It's a fresh change from the usual pictures of fish. <laughs> I need to send it to the editor-in-chief right away. <laughs> there we go. Uh. There are photo spots all over the place. Uh, thank you for your help and keep up the good work. <laughs> okay. And yeah, as much as Boncho wants us to head over... Nope, thank you all. We need to go find oh. this thing. Need to take off my headphones temporarily. Hmm. <laughs> Let's let's go with the net gun. That's cer almost certain to catch it. And hello there, Inchet Pizza. How are you doing today? I'm doing well here myself. Uh, phone, Marinka. It must be the coelacanth. Yep. Okay, that means that we have caught most every fish there is. Though not all of them at three stars here. And going back and hello, Pizza! Welcome, and I'm doing fine. How about yourself? Yep. And the things we're missing are three seahorses. Two species of crab. Uh, no, no, and a bunch no, of aberrations. No, 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 
No. What? Lobsters, not crabs. <laughs> Lobsters, crabs, they go in the same trap. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, I, I had, had he said shellfish, I would not comment there, for that would probably be the best umbrella term. <laughs> Let's see. Pizza, this time I'm doing great because now I am 100% sure that everything for my stream is good. Okay. Uh, when do you actually plan to be streaming, typically? Because then we might be able to come visit every now and then. Or at least raid. Okay. Now, do I usually I do you said 30 Twitch meters. Sends. Yeah, Twitch is usually a bit random, but it's where it cooperates. <clears throat> okay, let me do a quick check on things. Number of marine life. Yeah, short fin maker, but that's not going to be out. And yeah, the medium depths, sailfish, and the Sally Lightfoot crab. Anglerfish, which annoyingly is up on the day. Okay, so there, we don't need to find anything for our <clears throat> for the fish farm. But we can grab whatever we want along the way. Though we should probably avoid the shark since we have... Actually, the net gun should be able to catch some species of shark. And there's those little guys again. <laughs> the ones we were bullying en masse during the last night dive. Oh dear. Let's see. We don't have any special customers. Oh, uh, we're getting we, near the thing. Are you thought, did, did, do you remember where the damn thing was? Yeah, about 30 meters deep. And that's a pizza. I did the stream today morning and found out I have a 2 minute 30 seconds uh, plus gap. And a friend helped me make that stream delay as low as it, I could go, which is 44 seconds. Okay, o OBS does have a... An, has an option for a delay in there. Mostly for people who stream competitive stuff and such. Or did you did you narrow that down in some other way, perhaps? Using the bitrate or such? Oh yeah, on that you should probably be a bit careful with what you set up. I believe the maximum that Twitch allows is about 6,000 kilobytes per second to 6,500. And let's see. And let's put one of you in here. Actually, I probably should not have used that one here because the, the two lobster species that we haven't found is in... Uh, when, where, what depth were those again? Trap, trap. Let's see, yeah, 50 to 130. So lower than this. Uh, let's see, yeah. pizza, yeah, I have that set up already, okay. Didn't you see the murder E was around 30 meters or something? Yeah. And it's beeping now that we're getting closer. Very close. So it's probably up to the right and above. Yep, there it is. Yep, Fishmon is found. Okay, that doesn't work. Wait, okay, it was worth a shot. That, Wait. That didn't work. No, it, then how the heck are we supposed to catch it alive? No, we can knock it out by just damaging it. Oh, for the... There, yeah, see, it's knocked out. There. Good, I captured a fishmon. I should take a look. A strange fish capture five fishmon. <laughs> okay. Well, we caught it. That is our main objective done. But let's still take a look down in the lower depths <clears throat> for, well, the two crabs that were missing there. Oh, thank you. That's going to be useful. Okay. Might as well refill that. 
Okej. Okay. Um, so are, are you going with a, a set stream schedule pizza, or are you just going to stream whenever you feel up for it? And I think they just posted about that <laughs> right after I asked. So they're either really fast with typing, or they were already typing that out. <laughs> Uh, let's see, but I'd be around 9 I, nine p.m. IST till whenever I feel like it. And on the weekends, we'll be around 5 a.m. AST or 11 a.m. IST. Okay. Uh, I'd have to yeah, check how when those times are against, uh, <clears throat> against uh, GMT times. Yeah, I'll be, yeah, I'll be typing it out. <laughs> yeah, I did it see earlier on up higher up that they did planned on streaming randomly. Mm. Okay. Actually, what game did you stream earlier then, Pizza? Pizza Tower? <laughs> Would be fitting. Let's see, any other crab spots around here? No, oh, but there's a little shrimp. <laughs> Yoink. Some silverware, ingredients. Let's see, now nah, Pizza Tower is way too much for my laptop to handle. Okay. Uh, let's uh, see, so you um, have GST, Hillian? I could convert it right now. Uh, GMT plus one, aka Amsterdam time and such. And I will take this. Okay. Hmm. We don't actually really need to collect these starfish anymore, but they might be used as a thing for the uh, <clears throat> upgrades. Plus, it's always better to have than not have. Yeah. Yep. Crystal lobster and fan lobster, so that's what that thing is. Is that both of the ones? Yep. Fan lobster and crystal lobster. Okay. Let's see if we can catch any more of those. Maybe get some row out of them. And then we can be done for the night. That's the limestone cave. Oh, wait, I just realized. How much mm -hmm. lobster do we prepare for this night? Uh, enough for a full night. So we will be losing some of that, but we have plenty of other fish still. When I get my hands on Udo. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit useless. Okay. I should realize I I I, I am doing strangle little grip in air at the moment. <laughs> so yeah, Let's I guess I'm very annoyed <laughs> over him. Like I'm happy to help him, but the timing Yeah. Then again, he doesn't really get to choose if uh, which fish appear and such. Yoink. Let's see. He pizza. should have stayed out the water. Uh, pizza. So for my usual times, it would be 4.30 p.m. for you, Alien. Okay. I'll keep a note of that and give you a follow once we're done with the stream. <laughs> Wait. Is that morning or PM. night? PM. Uh, PM wait, wait, is wait, afternoon. Wait. Okay, afternoon. All right, all right. So, actually, now that I... What does, what does AM and PM actually stand for, I wonder? And that bit is lost to the abyss. Yeah, that's one of the reasons why we switched to like it. For any time we try to remember it, to try to make sense of it, we go, okay, post afternoon and after afternoon. No, no, that doesn't make sense. Here you have past afternoon and after afternoon, you just know that doesn't make sense at all. Mm, apparently, pizza knows. Oh, what does it mean? I'm guessing it's going to be some sort of Latin thing or something. Let's see, no other crab spots anywhere. Or am I just being unlucky with that? 
And yeah, that, that definitely looks like Latin to me. AM is full form ante medarium. It describes the midnight to noon time. The full form of PM is post meridim. Uh, PM denotes post midday period is another unit of the convention time, which is associated with a 12 hour clock. Yeah, uh, today, these days, I just use military time, so uh, 0 p.m., uh, 0 to 24, or rather more accurately, 0 to, <clears throat> to 23 hours and such. Many Swedes do it, maybe do it at the magazines and all that. Like, if you see, is like, as an example, uh, 17 so you see in a row? Yeah. That really, for those who know it, obviously mean five. And you will know that, oh yeah, it's in the uh, late evening or early evening, basically. Actually, that and reminds me. And that uh, stupid, uh, when you confuse about PM and PM, you go, do they mean morning or evening? Situation. Run quickly. We need, a, we need a breeding pair of those, so might as well snap one. Also, if I think, remember right, most computer clocks are digital, a military. Yeah. Okay, can I get you two to get close to each other? What the Not heck? close enough. There we go. I mean, it is. Those squids are not sharp enough to use themselves as spears. Yeah. Okay, if we got lucky with the Hubble squids, then we have only one night creature or night fish left that needs uh, a breeding pair in the farm. And it's going to be the zebra shark. But for now, it looks like we're not going to find another crab spot that easily. Maybe up here somewhere. We basically went around the area in a U shape. Up oh, there we go. And an escape spot right next to it. Okay. Need another of those there. Uh, let's see, pizza. Yeah, 24 hour clocks work for me since I have gotten used to it. Honestly, I might go live like 50 minutes before you uh, before you end, since if you do raid me, at least I'll get to see if my raid sound alert works or not, since it's the only thing I haven't tried out yet. Uh, there is... Uh, how actually have you set those up there? Oh, wait. Drink. Uh, there, there are plugins from uh, Streamlabs that work for that, but I, I recall... I don't remember if they were in some sort of controversy or not recently. Ooh, more high quality cat foods. But yeah, we could test out your sound alert on that. Almost controversy about everything nowadays. Hmm. It's done. Okay. Two more fans, and a crystal, and up we go then. <laughs> All right. Lobster party to attend to. How about squids? Did we get, let's see, long spine scorpion fish row, blue lobster row. Red Bandit, Crystal Lobster Row, and Fan Lobster Row. But not enough... Oh, actually, well, there is enough for the Fan Lobsters. Not with the Crystals, though. And we didn't get any Hubble Squid Row. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. This is it. A Striped a stripe more Eel. It looked more spotted, if you ask me. Uh. It stung really bad. My left arm still aches. It's hard for me to write. Uh. Oh wait, I'm right-handed. <laughs> yeah. Anyhow, thank you. We'll send you a fee when the issue's out on Monday morning. Uh, why do you want us to check it out? 
Let's see, danger is more easy. Is this he, he, said, he, said, he said striped each time, didn't he? Or is he? Or is his glasses striped? just miss? I okay. think he's a typo. Probably. Uh, let's see. There. And there. Okay. Yeah, still, we'll, we'll get a chance to fill some of these in next time. Or next night. For now, it's time to head off to Boncho. Before he fillets us for being absent. Okay, the menu is already preset. Read honestly a bit too much, probably, but still. Uh, staff. Let's see. Let's send all of you out on this patch again. 24, 27, 22. Let's... Yeah, let's just go everyone on one thing again. And go. Let's see, pizza. It's the hold it from Ace Attorney and pizza from Roblox, so it sounds like hold it pizza. <laughs> it, makes me so it makes it sound like it's saying hold it, we got pizza. We continue our shit later. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> uh, let's see. Don't think there's much else to do. So let's open her up. <laughs> Fancy suit and long gloves. Okay. Okay. Uh, I, I can't tell if it's people just being inconsiderate with this, or if the ones who actually leave their spot clean are the considerate ones who clean up. And yeah, if, if I hadn't been fast enough there, that one probably would have left. Because he was sat at us dirty spots. <laughs> well, for a moment there, I didn't uh, see where uh, some of them were. Oop. Okay, looks like we might need to upgrade our serving staff a little bit, because one person left angry there. Yeah, I saw one left angry there. Actually, maybe two, because there's two recipe, two dishes left over. Yep, Not that. angry on the Dre side. Let's see, 25. Oops, still a good amount. <laughs> okay, what is it? What is it with the gloves? Or is that? Uh, uh, is it? Is it not the committee? <laughs> maybe. Are, are they supposed to imitate the claws or something? <laughs> Possibly. Anyway, a, a minor dip in score, but oh well. No one angry there, and they made even more than us. <laughs> okay. <laughs> At this point, the branch is going to be the lead position, is going to be the main uh, location. <laughs> uh, let's see, pizza, or it's something I've been meaning to ask. But why don't you use the stream ending screen and the music anymore? Like uh, where you are in the captain's cabinet? Uh, because I'm trying to distance myself from the AR or not use the AR uh, anymore. Though... Uh, I, did, I could maybe set... I, I could actually probably just move the music over to here and make that a toggle. So that it will play when we are done with the game. Though, for the most cases, I'll probably just have the game playing in the background a little bit more. Uh, wait, it was AI art? Yes, it was. It, yeah. I think that probably would have been a bit obvious if you looked at some of the uh, things in... Uh, like, most of the stuff in the background looked pretty good, like the water and the rocks, but I think the ship that it made had a few, to ac a few extra masts, and uh, the decorations on the deck closer to the front of the picture uh, well, they were inconsistent, to say the simplest. And there was a table in the lower right, would have been, or lower left, would have been around where... Uh, the, mm, the mouse is actually not showing up on the game for some reason. It basically yeah, where... It 
where Cobra's head is. That's where it was about, and yeah, that would make it really obvious to see that it was a eye art. Yeah, I noticed early Actually, on, like, before we, we were picking it, I, I had a smaller picture to look at. But yeah, here you can see it's over the show merging with the tape. Like, all of that looks good and all. Cherry. And let's see, this ship has one, two, three, four, five masts. I'm pretty sure the typical standard at max is three. Yeah, and just look you, at those you knobs. Can, you can have more masts. A ship probably is... You don't have that many masts a ship of that size. And yeah. Uh, I personally still think that AI art is something nice to play around with. If someone who make who works a lot with that could be called an artist i'm a bit 50 50 on like you, you aren't making the art yourself but you are well you're spending a lot of time with those things to try and get something workable out of them so points for that at the least i can guess but it's also it can also be used as a good basis for when you're making a commission of someone like Besides just uh, being giving a vague description, you could say like uh, take the parts, uh, take some, uh, do something similar to like the parts of this uh, uh, AI art thing, and similar to that other AI art, art thing. Yeah, uh, let's not forget the issue with AI art. This is probably one of the reasons we probably AI use it less. Like many people to started to add in other people's art into the AI program. Yeah, so that is the better problem lies. Yeah. And also hmm. the other issue is... Uh, yeah. As usual, a company we rather use an AI art over paying a professional. Even though, well, it typically gets found out and it costs them more in the end than it would have cost them to hire the bloody artist. Like for small developers yeah. and such, or solo developers, it's a lot more understandable because they just don't have as many funds. There was a uh, a while back, there was an animation made on YouTube, or an animation video on, on YouTube that was basically a crossover of Scooby Doo and Five Nights at Freddy's, which had AI voices done, but. Yeah, a lot of people jumped on their neck for that, but they literally were just one person making the damn thing. So they couldn't even afford to get voice actors for that. Yeah. Anyways, and for it... the um, animatronics, it makes sense with AI voices. They are a living AI, what? <laughs> Ghost in a machine, literally. <laughs> Uh, let's see, pizza. I mean, if you look at my background, you see it's AI with the first glance, since all the pizzas are messed up, like some are square, some are triangles. <laughs> uh, let's see, I don't have the money for... Yeah, uh, yeah. let's move on back to the game. The fog is thick today. Those yeah, so hooded figures might visit in the evening again. Okay, simple as that on that. Okay, what do you have in store now? Emergency Pazer. Uh, let's actually bring that along. And let's see. Box. Yeah, pizza, they are in the ghost of a kid inside a machine. It's still horrible. Uh, let's check up on the farm and... The, the farms, probably better said. The normal farm and the fish farm. Okay. Uh, I was trying to remember something, but I forgot what I was trying to remember. Yeah. Oh, right. Okay, this is not an AI thing, but there, there is something I recall learning that Disney did, which I feel like is very low Disney. They stole art from Mass Effect. Okay. Yeah, they took a picture from Mass Effect, and the only thing they removed from it was a tower. And hope it was enough to make sure no one noticed. People noticed. Uh, they and also had something. Yeah, they also had something going on with uh, secret in, the secret invasion movie or something. I honestly haven't kept up with uh, Marvel movies since Endgame, because honestly, ever since then it's kind of gone down the crapper. 
Uh, but yeah, I apparently for Secret the Invasion, game. they used a art things on stuff, quote unquote, for the uncanny valley aspect of it. But they were just being cheap assholes instead. Yeah, this this make me like they still make some good movies now and then, but yeah, they have been having a lot of things going downhill due to poor leadership. Yeah, and greed and uh, a lot of. Uh, Shady things going on. Basically, they, well, they overextended is... massively. Oh, definitely. It's... Actually, do we even need to do this? Because the Marlins are just a pair. So there aren't any... Yeah, there aren't any extras to breed along there. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. I just had a bit of an idea. Maybe something... If they don't add new areas to the game, maybe they could uh, have us put aside a breeding zone for specific fish to put in there. Like, if we want to have multiple breeding pairs of, say, the marlins, that we open this up here and just put the marlins in there. To work. And we have more than enough money for all of this. There we go. Literally nothing more that can be added. Unless there is something that's going to pop up. We're supposed to pop up at some point in the game. Actually... Let's leave these be for a moment where they still have room to breathe. That way they will fill the... They will, well, there'll be more to breathe, so more to sell or once we visit next time, or more to harvest next time. Uh, let's see. Pizza... Ta -ta. Well, I mean, a dead king, a child's ghost is much more horrible than the ghost of a dead adult. Uh, Disney has have such a lot of money, like 150 billion kind of money, and they do that st stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, they've been cutting a lot of corners and been lying on papers and everything. And they actually, I think actually they've been losing a lot of money, actually, even. I think they even had to borrow money recently. Oh, my right back. Okay. It's... There's so much information that it's kind of hard to keep track and know which is true or which is not. Wait, I'll... you... Hmm. I think you can see, the only thing I'm sure of is that there is something going on there. Okay, if, if we hold off on doing this dish for a while, and we just get a bunch of trigger fish, this one also has the opportunity to reach 370, I think. Or actually, Ooh. no, 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 no. Tw plus 20... Uh, no, that, that's more likely to hit 340 or something, so not doing that one. Uh, we can enhance this one to level 10. Let's see, Pizza, I mean they are playing it safe, but a little too safe. Actually, I'd say they are not playing it safe because they are just making so many damn movies at the same time that there's just too many for people to actually go see or care about because, well, the quality has been going down the drain. Yeah, it doesn't help mm. that some of the actors or the certain people within Disney have been very bad, just have a horrible reputation of being very anti-fan, so to speak, and also hypocritically political, I would call it. Mm. But I see a hmm. political thing, and when you look at it, you go, that sounds hypocritical. Not gonna say it's... names, but... Yeah, it, it, it's a chaos, just a chaos. Wait, Snow White drop... What the heck I been doing? Of course there's some drama about Snow White. It looks like Thresher Shark meat is also a possible for the 370, if we can get, well, a lot more meat out of those. Um, I probably should try to diversify the menu 
a bit. Like, let's let's not use this one for a, a while, so we can save up on the trigger fish. Uh, price, oh, yeah. tempura. I'm I'm really excited for Disney nowadays. Like, sure, we we're, we're gonna be watching some Star Wars series like Bad Batch and such. But uh, that's I can't eat it. Like, there will be probably there will be some ring well and such. But the movies. Yeah, I'm gonna probably uh, not care too much unless I hear for others that there's one of the that is good. Like, I'm gonna listen to friends over, yeah, Disney themselves. Yeah, like again, there's just been so many, uh, so many side movies that are likely going to have, uh, likely having critical things uh, in them for the other stuff that it's they're basically bringing the, a problem from the comic books into the movie uh, world with it because one th one thing that annoys a lot of comic fans i wouldn't exactly call myself a comics fan but i follow linkara and such who are um, and one major annoyance and issue they have with comic uh, events and such is that there's always so many blasted tie-ins which actually have important stuff in them happen that's you just can't keep track of the of the plots in the actual events comics themselves like they will point out they it makes it impossible to get the full story basically or a, a full story that actually makes sense let's see i had yeah, a lobster feast <laughs> okay everyone was wearing red gloves so that's why <laughs> Normally you maybe have about, about two, one or two big events with several minor ones that adds up. But I guess the issue is, is, is definitely a problem at times. You've tried to cram in like 30 major events at the same time. Let's see. Lobster and truffle. Do rich people eat this very you know, this every day? And it's spicy, but I can't stop eating. I'm eating with tears all over my face. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's the spicy lobster. Uh, what? And then it's more still. Yeah, just the farm reports. Okay. okay, I see something in chat. I, I can't read it in di just disbelief. Yeah, uh, let's see. Crate apparently now lays the chip brand is copying Pringles. Like, are they putting out their own... Pringles cans, but it's Lay's instead. Also, what something I had noticed before, we have our contract with Sammy on the side here. So we know how long they're still going. Days. All right, that's good. Anyway, shop. We already looked. Okay. Uh, let's go to the glacial zone. Yeah, uh, uh, no, we have about 40 minutes remaining. So should we just do quick fishing? So we can get to the damn dredge port, so that's the one we are bloody after. Yeah, let's go to the let's go to the third cave here. Catch the fish that we want, head back out. Maybe even skip the second uh, part. Hmm. Yeah, for we we spent bloody heck over an hour for the first dive. Yeah. <laughs> Narwhal. Oh, they said they're doing the cylindrical cans. All right. Uh, that's what they. they like, if they were doing the word can and trying to make their own mascot through them, then I guess that would probably be a bit. Come on, really? <clears throat> They've also had ages to copy them in a more interesting way, but uh, well. Okay, I'm taking quite also, the hits from this thing. I like Pringles, mm -hmm. I do. Mm -hmm. I do find the tube at times a bit annoying yeah. since... Uh, yeah, okay. You... I lost to a blasted Greenland them. shark. <laughs> oh well, that, that you... takes care of the first slice of time. You got spat out by a Greenland shark. A very slow shark. 
Yeah, I, I was just too way too close with it there. But yeah, let's just ignore that thing now. Just head straight to the blasted cave or the passage, whatever they specifically called oh, it. Dust. I can't forget that those frill chalks look so unnerving from some angles and then it looks like they are smiling like a lunatic. Yeah, the the open the wide open gills don't help with that. It makes it look like they've been slashed. Hmm. Honestly, I, I I've never really had Pringles, I think. Because I, I don't you know, like the idea of needing to reach into the stupid cans to try and get any. Like, just give me a fucking bag that uh, that I can reach It'll... into without getting my wrist stuck or anything like that. It'll... There is an easy solution. Yeah, just, just pour them out. I know. Yeah, into a bowl. I have done that a few times. <laughs> Yeah, but it is so. It is a lot more freaking easy to just open a thing, reach in, and grab. And they actually—they've actually been making fun of getting your wrist stuck in a can in their own uh, ads, their own commercials. Yeah, I've seen it. I've yeah. seen it. it. It was fun at first, but the, the more I saw the commercials, they said they added more variation of that one. Is it still the same one, just when it's longer, when it's shorter? I just they kept going at it. It's kind of like. Yeah, we get the yolk. Let's see, snub nosed spiny and lumpfish. The, and we'll need to I take a visit it, to the other one as well, still. The, I think they, what, the commercial I really dislike the most currently is the sneaker store. Like, it is sneaker, you're hungry? That was fine. That one you could do funny thing. But now they, now they went just to the rule. Same yolk about switch innuendo. That it. Every yoke is about people misunderstanding the feet. They're able to do the switch thing with a partner. Yeah, like, yeah with that. Uh, if, just if there's been anything in, in ads with that that has been annoying me, I would say it is with Lace. because Not because of something specifically in the acting or such, but because they very clearly and very lazily have just been uh, using CGI to change the bags, you know, the bags of chips in the commercials. And it's blindingly uh, obvious. And, and a loader in yeah, chat's think... uh, trucker. Oh, it was Big Trucker. What the heck is going on with Big the Trucker? I think they've typed in something backwards. How the heck did... I don't dare uh, try to read it uh, from top to bottom. I feel like it, it would be an ancient curse. Uh, fish guards, fish guards, uh, silic, uh, silic and dice, oh, slice and dice, uh, by bubble and spin, you, uh, uh kins, uh, uh uh, Tamit and uh, time and time uh, again uh, by the uh, by the sake you uh, shall uh, su su yeah, sustain uh, your yourself uh, hit uh, hit uh, <laughs> whatever <laughs> but. Uh, now are you doing trucker or did you get cursed to only speak backwards or something? Uh, pieces volunteering to for translate it. <laughs> uh, let's see. To the third. The quite literal only thing I have seen those cans be used for is well, I'm not going to say it, but I think you know. Uh, uh, yep, it's backwards. The thing next to the star emoji says Hillian, but without the eye. And I can translate. Yeah. <laughs> Let, let's see how correct or wrong I had that bit. <laughs> um, the way the pizza is phrased about the uh, people using the cans makes me worry that people have been using it for something concerning. Something sexual? Oh, can I get I hope not. I, really yeah, I got hope all not. four of them. <laughs> but yeah. That's another thing I'd say. With the delays, the, the bags are just way freaking easier to get rid of. You just fold them in, or just yeah, you just flatten it and fold it, and done. Yeah. For, uh, 
I feel like it's annoying to throw. For, I have read the Pringles cans that they are actually telling you to remove the metal bottom. It's okay. easier said than done. Plus, if you only have the partial can left, uh, it's going to take up the same amount of space. If you have a partial bag left, well, you can just fold it in, you know, fold over the end, you know, the, the top of it, and you know, you'll have as good as good as sealed and taking up less space. Yeah, the only reason they are in a can of fingers that is is because of the shape of the ships. I, okay. They tried it long ago. But I had to wait almost 20 or 30 years before they, they, they tried it again. Because of it, they took the so long to realize, oh, we put them in a tube. And we can sell them again. They actually try to sell them. Okay. Uh, let's see, Trucker, Sleepy. So, Sleepy, I really uh, want to be sleeping right now. Okay. <laughs> well, maybe I can bore you to death into sleep. <laughs> well, whichever comes first. What are these Kill? little things? I don't think your puns will bore them. I think your puns yeah, will uh, scare them awake. <laughs> maybe. But that's your, their choice for being here. <laughs> okay. That's one cave done. Let's head up to the other one. And maybe we can actually take on the Greenland this time because I've got two oxygen tanks as backup for healing. Um, any harpoon points in this? Or sp Wait, but why nope. are you off to the Greenland truck again? And because we don't have a breeding pair of those. <laughs> you can stay mad in there, your oversized kite. And yes, I am going to I am going to keep calling those things kites. Because honestly, they look like it. <laughs> Thank you for the mental image of you being so angry with the stingray. You put hooks on each end of, of its fins and you throw it into the sky with a line. <laughs> Tied behind a jet ski. <laughs> Kinda. And yes, it somehow flies. Uh, let's see. Pizza. Uh, alien. Captain. Uh, something. Oop. I want to fight the Greenland, not the poor beagle. Um. Right, that's the that leads to the sea to the seaweed area, so we need to go there. Uh, yourself, sustain, sell you sink. Uh, I. <laughs> uh, yeah, you you the word the lettering themselves was backwards, but the the words weren't. So yeah, <laughs> you translated and still kept it backwards, pizza. <laughs> Uh, it's a <clears throat> oh gods! Nope. And twelve extra damage. I'll take that. No. Uh, well, I didn't say I was fully going to translate it. Uh, let's see. Uh, fish gods, fish gods, slice and dice by bubble and pin. You sink time and time again. Uh, by the sake you shall, or by the sake maybe, you shall sustain yourself, uh, Captain Hillian. <laughs> okay, we're back here. Over to the right, there don't seem to be many fish. Oh, <laughs> nice that it actually gets stopped by uh, Dave. Wait, you only now noticed? I wasn't keeping an eye on that in the past, and no meal near this time. <laughs> And yes, we didn't keep it afterwards, though that would have been freaking hilarious. Oh, well, that dear. goes to show then that uh, they, if I recall correctly, the, the myth with at least Marvel's Mjolnir is that only those pure of hearts or 
quote unquote wor worthy can lift it up. So uh, yeah, yeah that, that's, Dave is worthy. That's how it works in me falling as well. I'm sure about pure fall, but uh, only the worthy may lift it. Uh, yeah, I know a lot of people have at least been saying that uh, Mr. Rogers uh, and such are definitely worthy of it, though. <laughs> or was it Mr. I, I think it was Mr. Roberts from uh, an old, an old live action uh, kids show. Uh, not action. Uh, li oh, you mean live action? Yeah. Oh yes, live action. Yeah, I know which one I mean. I've never seen a show about that. I wouldn't know about uh, it exists. That's it. There we go. And yeah, there's also been, of course, the thing with Marvel that Captain America has basically always been uh, worthy of lifting it as well. <laughs> Even if he faked it out a bit in the uh, Age of Ultron, I believe it was, where they were having the contest to see who could lift it. Uh, yeah, people have been making jokes about that since I don't know when. Like, if if Thor feels like being a troll, he'll just put it on the toilet lids so that no one can use it. He actually did that, I think. <laughs> There's another Pollock. Yeah, actually, yeah. I think he actually oh, did that in one of the... Uh, do those after uh, after scenes, after the credits and all that, <laughs> or in between credit scenes. I, I'm guessing they were probably uh, referencing the, in the joke then. <laughs> and let's see, is there any ammo around here because the net gun is out? Either re referencing or they or, or they had fought there. it way ahead. But it feels like one of those. Almost obvious mean things you could do in Definitely. today's society. Yeah, let's see, pizza. I guess my friend now has a challenge, and that challenge is, but right, <laughs> be it, you know, spend an entire stream typing backwards. Trying to lift the other there. Hmm. I think actually a bit of a thought I've had. At times, yeah, I, I've thought about writing fanfics every now and then, and I had the idea of when a, a foreign language would be used, other than or a, a, a language would be used that isn't understood by the characters, that I would put a simple cipher in it, which would re, uh, be things like writing it in reverse, and once it was unreversed, then uh, writing it, um, how to describe, basically swapping some letters around, of, like if you have a a five letter word, then the, f the, f the middle letter would I would consider the, the axis and then swap the second and fourth letter around and then write it in reverse. Like simple ciphers that need a little bit of work, but can still be rather easily uh, deciphered once found out. Well, it was surprising to hear you being wanted to write fanfic. So you probably should be specify what kind of fanfic you plan to write since Not again, you just like flat. <laughs> yeah, says so let's be honest. Whenever people say fa write a fanfic or draw a fan art, people will always jump notice to the loon stuff. Yeah. Now is that Greenland uh -huh. shark still around for a rematch? Uh -huh. And you're going to sneeze again? Apparently not. I hate these fake arts. We always keep getting ready to turn away. <laughs> uh, Trucker continues to be cursed with reverse lettering. Actually, whilst we're here, might as well put one of these up. Uh, put one of these nuisances in. Uh, let's see the cameras. Ma mass, the, the can makes a great uh, target and receiver uh, signal. <laughs> okay, that was the sound of something spawning, I think. Uh, mm -hmm. let's signal let's, can something. Let, let's, let's finish this time so we can finally do the Fortnite. Yeah. 
And oh, there's was, a good exit no, point. This is me. If we, we, if we don't do the dreads content today... Yeah, we're going to need to do another stream. <laughs> what did you say? Then we're going to need to do another stream after specifically saying again that this is likely the last one for a while. Yeah. And we are doing so good on economy on the game that I think we can afford it for yeah. once. I'm pretty sure we could afford to train a bunch of people up higher as well. I, actually, I might train some of the, the serving staff up higher so we can leave everything to them. Yeah, for, mm -hmm. from what I saw last time, we might need to do that. Yeah, if, if we... We can still run things smoothly by interacting a bit ourselves, but it would be nice uh, to have them do everything by themselves. So that we don't need to interfere at all. Let's see, lumpfish row. Okay, good amount. <laughs> and yeah. <laughs> and everyone's back. Red fog is in the air, meaning there will be aberrant fish in the waters. Your the figures will be visiting Banjo Sushi soon. You gotta serve them something, right? Well, it's not easy steering a boat in this weather. Yeah, this time, let's explore around a bit more. Hmm. I wonder, how would, the, how would the other places look during this? Also, reference to the first, to the intro of Dredge. Okay, whirlwinds are diving spots, so to be avoided. For the moment so we just go to where the bubbles are the salvage there we go dave look over there those must be the bubbles the merchant mentioned well it does seem like something is there let's see there should be equipment for dredging in this boat let's sell the bubbles for now okay yep you can dredge up valuables from the sea press a to avoid the gaps and salvage items Okay, so, yeah, this is exactly the same as in Dredge. <laughs> A diamond ring? Okay. Uh, let's see, pizza. Uh, they can make great transition uh, and receive signals of functioning by focusing the eye signals into a beam. Uh, did I miss something? Yep. Okay, I, I do like that it yeah, actually yeah. allows us to... Oh, hello, Ink, crawling over my stuff. Okay. I do like that this allows us to explore the area a little bit. A broken monocle. Mm. Most of this stuff is probably for selling. Some of it is going to be for weapon upgrading. Okay. And yeah, that's the dive spot. How far can we actually go with things? Hmm. And yeah, I had read that there are three spots where you can dive. Each of them have different uh, types of aberrant fish that you can find. Hmm. I wonder if at some point we could get one of the DLCs where it's expand on this so that we can sail around or yeah, sail around the entire island, or local region at least. Let's see, are there, Maybe? are there really no more bubbles anywhere else? Nothing I can see. Uh, so let's, let's see. dive. Yeah, let's choose this spot over here. Yep. And, okay, it previews which fish you can find. Withered ray. Rotten webbing. Oh. Yep. Hmm. Okay, let's check out the chat for a bit. Uh, it's, uh, I tried my best with this. Da, 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 da. Uh, da, da, da. Your fish and guts slice and dice by Bowl and Finn. You sink time and time again. By the sick, uh, you shall sustain yourself with patience, shall triumph in the uh, final hint. I uh, need to type this out in the dark, then try to figure this crap out like I'm Sherlock or something, and then truck it out again with uh, your your translation, yeah, your translation uh, soft uh, software is lacking pizza. 
Uh, let's see my name. I don't like it. <laughs> okay. Now, let's see what abominations we can fish up from this area. Hmm. Ooh, seashell. Purple earth is such abomination. <gasps> Seaweed, so terrifying. Yes, I think you'll think a bit different though. about these. Um. Uh, um. What was that thing? Gnashing perch. Thank you. I wonder if we found if we'll find any other new weapons as well. Are, are we going? Can we get aberrated crabs? And lobsters. There. There we go. Hmm. Yeah, th this music is good for s subtly unnerving you. And hello, you're a big one. Ooh. In but are you big enough to escape this? No, you're not. Hmm. That looks familiar. Okay, that is Shattered Wreckfish. Okay. Another one of these. Another sea dragon that gets sacrificed to the crabs. Yet another gnashing perch. I'm just short. <laughs> I have to have that happen so many freaking times. Nom 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 nom. Mm, so Pizza just realized they don't have a, a stream end screen. You don't really need one. You can you could just use your normal screen. Maybe set up something that. Uh, <clears throat> that your model gets enlarged in front of it or such. <clears throat> Hello. You are another type of wreck fish, I think. Hmm. Yeah, bony wreck fish. You have no need for that. Thank you. Hmm. Wait, is a, your brother is a diver? Let's see, my brother is currently diving. I don't have a model. Uh, my... Uh, my brother that is currently driving, I'm guessing. Uh, I don't have a model or even a PNG. Okay. Uh, you could use that. Uh, you could use the uh, icon, the uh, the image that you used for your profile pic. Uh, you'd have to cut around things a bit. I could give it a try for you if you uh, if you'd like. Gowling yeah. bass. Uh, let's see, pizza. What the hell did I? <laughs> <laughs> I I think the aberration effect is starting to affect Pizza's mind. Uh, let's see, I mean, the last thing I don't have a model or even a PNG. And, uh, pizza, I mean, yeah, sure, if you don't mind, I, I'd appreciate it. Uh, I forget if you... S I think you sent an image of it already in DMs. I could use... I could work with that. Mm, hello. What are you? It looks kind of derpy. Gelatinous jellyfish. Hmm. Gelatinous stonefish. And if I recall correctly, stonefish are one of the most venomous fish around, with spikes that can penetrate through uh, shoes if you accidentally step on them. 
Or were those yeah. rock or stonefish? I forget which of those specific. Uh, it's the same thing, I think. The, it, it depends on species, but some of them can be extreme poisonous. But those you can survive them, provided you go to the hospital room quickly. Lucky. Is that still going to count? Yes, that's still going to count. <laughs> Get fucked, stone food, whatever you are. Sprouting eel. Okay. And one more box to set up. And another <laughs> sea dragon to a sacrifice. Hmm. And yeah, we'll have to go back for the other ones. Uh, I'll keep the tranquilizing ones. Okay. And what are you? Oop, wrong combo. There. Yeah, another stonefish. Okay, I, I do wonder how deep we can actually go. Actually, probably the usual, since Dave doesn't go into the doesn't go into the depths at night, because it would be take too long to get back. Hmm. I do wonder what it would be like to visit the Sea People Village at night. A cortex decorator. Okay. Yep, I was right about aberrated crabs and lobsters. <laughs> Should we, not have been surprised. We spoke of Cortex yesterday, didn't we? Uh, yeah, <laughs> Dr. Neo Cortex. Yeah. I guess those are his creations? Uh, don't think so. It's, this is more in cortex as to the uh, brain, the, the part of the brain, I believe. Brain crabs. Yep. Drink. Uh, uh, what the heck is going on? And throw uh, stonefish. Uh, uh, I think I need to bump them both now. I think they are going insane. Yep. Yeah. Okay, that's enough. Okay, we can't go any deeper than this. Though honestly, I don't think we would want to go any deeper in waters with aberrated fish. Oh hmm. god, imagine how... Oh, I don't want to face an aberrant shadow, a aberrant donkey. Hmm. Yeah, now, now that I think about it, it m one thing for another DLC might be the addition of full night dives or something. Like, that uh, Banjo Sushi gets closed for a night, so that we can explore the really dark deep. Yeah. Like, th th there is definitely room for two DLCs more. Hopefully, ones that will be more extending the epilogue, as in extra stories. So now there's something big spawning. What the? Uh, and fraud stonefish? Yep. Okay, I'm, I'm just giving up on trying to translate what <laughs> what Trucker is saying. Uh, t -t 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 Did you see it a French venti? I, I saw that video that you sent. Uh, my pizza. <laughs> and I should probably be using these scooters. Uh, I'll grab that. Okay. Hello there.
Here we go. Hmm. It does seem that we don't get too much of a variety per these spots, but they might differ per every time that uh, the red mist comes in. Since we did have a quite a long list of possible aberration uh, fish, then again, most of the ones we've seen so far have two different types each, so that would be around six, eight different fish each time during these in each of these uh, diving areas. Oh dear. Let's see, we have about ten minutes remaining. Okay, we can go over a little bit. So, ow. Yeah, it's over a little bit. There. Because again, this is supposed to be the last of these streams until there is a good amount of new content. Like a DLC or a patch that mm. adds in a new mechanic. We'll have to see what they come up with first. Yeah, like if they had if we made two they had added two DLCs that add story, then definitely we will be returning when there's enough to return to. Same with Dredge, like, I feel like if we're going to return to that one, maybe wait one or two DLCs for that one. Like, you, you don't get caught in the nets. You, we have to fight. Ooh. That's the Withered Ray. He looks terrifying. You, oh, at least behind poison. You. Ow. The, oh, that's, co not, that's confusion as well. Okay. Uh, need to wait it out for a bit. There we Are go. Are you out of net gun ammo? No, it doesn't get caught by that. Oh. So, oh. Get you out of the picture. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, back. Uh, uh, Okay. Probably should have saved a drone use for this, but oh well. We can at least harvest it. And it's not like there's any chance of getting rove from these things. Okay. Search through that. And I think we've covered most of the area. There's probably a bit in the middle still. Sticky mine launcher, no interest. Okay, let me use this, then we grab that fish, we head up, empty our traps, and then probably call it there. You want to, I think we should do the... the bonshu, then uh, call it. Yeah. That's what I meant uh, earlier. Uh, let's see, might as well... Speed things up a little bit, use up the ammo that we have. You again. Can we catch you in the net? Yes, but you can still do that. We're going to have plenty of food for the hooded figures, at the absolute least. And Honestly, I probably should be ignoring this little stuff on the surface like that, like shells. But oh well. <laughs> That's the third high-quality cat food that we found so far. Up in to, on today's stream, that is. Let's see. Anything of interest in here? New weapon? No. So wh when we turn this thing apart, yeah, we just get fragments. Okay. We'll need to clean out the fish tank extra thoroughly once we're done with tonight's work. Ammo. Are you sure? Do you feel ammo when we are supposed to get up? 
Yeah, I'm still going to grab whatever we can along the way. Just to ensure that we have enough. Plus, whatever extra we have, we get to sell off anyways. Point taken. <clears throat> okay, now we just grab what's in the traps. Ooh, hello. Uh, you are a bony stonefish, I believe. Oh yeah, there is a... No, I remember why. You wait. Yeah, it slows down. What it can we means... throw out? Uh, correction, I meant... Dave's carry weight, not... Not yeah. Hillian's weight. Let's toss some of those. Actually, we don't have too much need for ores anymore, I think. Iron ore, maybe, but not the other ones. Let's see. Pizza, send you the pictures. Okay, I'll take a look at that later. For now, we're heading over to the traps. Going to empty those out. There's still plenty of fish around. But Don't we're not going to be carrying... Um, yeah, we, we're not going to be able to carry all of those around. Okay. Now, get yeah, you out skipping. before you escape. Splintered crab. And yeah, once we get once we grab these, we won't be able to pick up anything else anymore. So it, it's just going to be a straight up to the surface. <clears throat> okay. Uh, yeah, I, de I definitely should have saved one drone use for the withered ray, but we still got some meat out of that. And yeah, there we go. Let's get out of this hellhole. <laughs> yeah. Keep all of those, even if just for bait. Yeah, to the fish tank. Okay. And there we go. Now, now I actually wonder, do the hooded figures also show up at the branch? Hmm. I don't think so. Otherwise, that would be kind of annoying. Yeah. Okay. What aberrated fish do we have? We have a fuck ton of this. Yeah, we can't enhance them. So there. Makes sense. All of those. Uh, we still need to keep... Yeah, we, we already have something for the normal customers. Probably should not have put in that many, but oh well. Uh, a bunch of this. Didn't we just put that in there, or is that... Uh, the, um, the scattered wreck fish. Okay. And then one last one. This is going to be the enthralled stonefish. Okay. Now, since we'll be since we'll be facing quite a few people, let's train you folks up some. There. And once more for luck, even though people think 13 is an unlucky number. So things are a lucky number. So it depends a bit of a Culture and person to person. Hmm. Yeah, one more. And yeah, almost 700 serving. <laughs> okay, open her up. And let the floodgates begin. Three, four of them. <laughs> yeah, the other customers must be thinking, what the other fuck is going on here? <laughs> this place seems different. I guess <laughs> the clientele looks a bit different, yeah. <laughs> Is someone going to clean that spot? Yep. 
Okay. I wonder how much we're going to make off of this. And yeah, a lot. <laughs> we made a lot more of the temporary than really needed. And off they scoot. <laughs> and here's the merchant. Huh? And she did the of the have left? Mm. Let's see. You have some leftover aberrant mm. fish? I'll buy them as promised. Ah. Let's see. 2,000 for 64 fish. Okay, yeah. We splintered crowd, gnash and perch. And that's the timer going off. Mm. So, almost perfectly on time. Ah. Hmm. Okay. And that's that. Now, how much did we make yeah. out of that? Yep, 34 happy customers. Hmm. Actually, less than normal, but we got our perfect score back. Now, how did the branch do? Did they get any special visitors? Doesn't look like it. Let, less <clears throat> less uh, profit than last time. But, oh well, they still didn't have anyone bad, give a bad review or such. Okay. 21st of November. I always mess up how it... Hello there, wonderful Monday. Thanks to your help. Yes, special. Keep up the good work. Okay. And, yeah, 1500. It's not really worth... But, uh, mm -hmm. Mail another another party mm. already. The Marlin party. Uh, no, come on! I need to save that stuff up. Yeah, that's it. Uh, <laughs> let's see. I'm sure you all know the story of an old man who couldn't catch a fish for 84 days off the coast of Gulf of Mexico. The fish he finally caught was a marlin, and now marlins are beginning to be sighted in the waters near the Blue Hole. To seize this opportunity, the committee decided to host a marlin party three days from today. Didn't we have one of those? already. Let's see, Marlin party? Yep, Marlin party. Yep. <laughs> okay. I'm honestly a bit surprised we haven't been getting mail from other things or such. Anyways. Uh, yes, we honestly it's completed random. We finally gone in a circle about the events. Mm. Yeah, the, the tuna was the first one with that. So we would have gotten those first. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so four, four uh, normal fish. You have their aberrated versions show up. And two of these. And yeah, Jellyfish Basin, Black Cliff, Far Coast. That's the names of the three different places. Far Coast is the first one we went to. And... <clears throat> yeah, Jellyfish Basin is the one that we almost went to, and hello. <laughs> okay. Oh. Now, uh, how is the weather looking? Sunny all day, or sunny all this half week? Okay. Yeah, we didn't see any story edition, uh, so... Yeah, I think we are like 99-98% of the game covered. So, yeah. Now, let's have ourselves a look. Did Pizza go live? Or well, actually, I would need to find them first since I had not subscribed to them. Uh, let's see. Actually, one easy way to do that, I think, is to click here. And, yeah, follow. There we go. Now, let's refresh the browser and see if you actually went live, like you said. Yeah, there you are, just chatting. <laughs> Okay, make sure that the place is is muted. Copy. And yeah. There we go. Don't select everything. Okay. Slash raids and pastes. And yeah. <laughs> even even though I still like this game, it can get a bit samey at times, but it is still just so freaking charming. Yeah, show me and relaxing, provided something doesn't happen. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, we'll start the raid to pizza in a moment. But first, thank you everyone who's watching now or later. Thank you, Trucker. Hope you get uh, uncursed soon enough. Thank you, Pizza. And let's see, any lurkers around? Uh, 
Okay. Oh, I need to... Okay, the chat thing here has gone a bit wonk. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's see, trucker, pizza, and yeah. Thanks to both of you, and thank you as always, as, uh, as always, for care. You're welcome as always, my friend, and thank you all for joining. Yeah. Maybe tomorrow we'll have a multiplayer stream, maybe Borderlands, maybe Crosscode, we'll have to see. I have a job application that shouldn't take too long, so, but yeah, could still get in the way. We'll have to see how things go. <clears throat> Actually, it should, it should, we typically stream at like 7 p.m. or such then, so a <laughs> job application early in the afternoon should have no impact at all. <clears throat> Uh, anyways then, uh, Tuesday we will continue with Sonic Heroes, same on Thursday, and well, we'll see what else happens in the week. But until then, thank you all again for watching, and until next time, have a nice day, and until then. And did I actually start really? Uh, I, I, I put it in here on the browser, so it actually moves along. There, yeah, raid started, <laughs> and yeah, <laughs> see you all next time. See you all next time, people, and watch out for aberrant fish. Definitely.